couple of years ago, one of my most popular videos was building my powered hose reel. Uh, recently, Ziggy from Streamline contacted me and asked me if they sent me their new stainless steel hose reel, would I be interested in powering it up and making a video on it? Well, I thought I could do, but I've already got a video like that. So, what I've done is seven improvements on the powered hose reel. So, this is Mark 2, and I'm going to tell you what those seven improvements are. So just for clarity, just to let you know, as I said, uh, Streamline have sent me this hose reel, um, which is very kind of them. I didn't spend my own money on it, but it's really nice to have them send it me so I can uh, do this little project with it and uh, use it in the van. So without any further ado, let's get on with the seven improvements to the hose reel. So improvement number one has got to be the hose reel itself. As I said, Streamline has sent me their stainless steel framed clover leaf hose reel. Now it's really nicely made, uh, really high shiny, looks really nice. Uh, if you've had a clover reel before and been thrown it in and out of the van, you'll know that it soon wears across the bottom where it's dropping on the ground. Uh, Stainless steel is a lot stronger than the mild steel that it's normally made out of. So having a stainless steel frame is a real bonus. Uh, it's also more rigid, uh, it's a stronger metal, so it'll last a lot longer. And being stainless steel, it won't rust when, um, when it gets wet. The other nice thing that I really like is the old ones, as soon as you get them, the powder coating seems to start popping off straight away. There's no powder coating on that, that's just the stainless steel finish. Really nice and shiny, I really like the look of that hose reel. So I've used the stainless steel clover leafed hose reel from Streamline or Veritech Systems uh, as my main hose reel for the project. So improvement number two is the board I've mounted it on. So the original one, Mark 1, I mounted on a piece of ply. The only problem was when this got wet, the ply would bend, it would get a little bit soft, it would bend, and when it bent, it meant the motor lifted a bit and it made the chain looser. So it could occasionally throw off the chain, um, which was a, a bit annoying. It wasn't the end of the world, it was quite easy to put back on, but uh, it was a bit annoying. So this time, there's a place just up the road from me and they sell plastics to the trade. So I bought a sheet of 20 mil plastic. Uh, I'm not sure what type it is with this what it is is PVC or polyurethane or what it is I don't know plastics but I I'd asked them what would be best they sold me this which was about seven or eight quid so I've mounted it on the plastic that's a really nice sturdy finish nice and white easy to clean keep clean uh, keeps it all solid really good mounting on there so that's improvement number two so improvement number three was occasionally with the old reel, because I was using hot water, as the hose expanded, it would push the hose reel apart. Uh, and when it contracted, it could it'd go a bit loose, basically, and move across each way. So what I've done, I've put three bars, three uh, lengths of threaded bar, through the uh, middle in each other and a third, and I've put nuts and washers on the inside, a lock nut and washer on the inside of each one, and then again on the outside, and that way it's clamped really tight into position. There's no way that it can pull apart or come closer together. So it won't be putting the, ho the chain out of, out of uh, line because of that. What can still happen is the cones can wear, but that's no major problem. You can soon swap those out. I'm sure you can get them and swap them out. So that's improvement number three. Uh, improvement number four is I've moved the motor a little bit closer to the hose reel. It's only like a, an inch uh, between the board. I took out a few links. To do that I had to buy a chain link remover to split it. I think you can do it with an angle grinder but I think it was six or seven quid for the chain link remover. Um, so I put that in, I moved that closer, took the links out and because it's closer it makes the chain a lot tighter. There's a lot less play in it as it does up. So the next improvement 
is a chain tensioner. Uh, this one is off a uh, motorbike. I got it off eBay. I think not very expensive. I'll put the links to everything I used uh, in the description below. Uh, but this is a chain tensioner. Uh, it was a bit fiddly to get in the right position because it was a bit tight there but after a bit of carpentry skills I managed to get it sorted and the chain tensioner just sits there nicely, uh, just takes any extra whip out of the chain if the chain stretches a little bit, uh, which chains do, um, the chain tensioner will take that out. So there we have the chain tensioner. So improvement number six is how I turn the uh, powered hose reel on and off. Before I used a hoist switch, uh, which pressed on, let go of it, and it turned it off. Worked really well, but you're a bit restricted by the length of cable you've got. So on the Mark II, I have fitted a remote control. It's a little key fob. Uh, it all comes in a unit together. You get two key fobs um, and a little receiver box. It's ever so simple to wire up. Uh, it's all explained in the uh, in the paperwork. Ever so easy. Just four four cables, two in, two out, um, and your key fob. You pair the two together. Press it on, you'll start your reel up, turn it off, you turn your reel back off. The only thing I didn't like about the key fob, and I couldn't find one with a high enough uh, power rating, that is when you turn it on, when you let go, it's still on. You have to press the off button to turn it off. But with these, because it's only a 250 watt motor, you can actually stop them by holding on to them. So, you know, if there's any problem, that you can actually stop it. Uh, so that's really nice little uh, key fob, works really well. I've been testing that out and from 50 yards, it was still working every time on and off with the press of the button, worked really well. So improvement number seven. I think this one is, uh, some people will like, some people won't. Um, I haven't done it for the back of the mo the back end of the motor. I've done it because I'm going to be well out the van with the key fob to do it. It wouldn't take much to put a a little guard on the back motor, but uh, I shouldn't be anywhere near that with it being in the van. But I've made a guard out of a old celebrations box to go over the chain, so that just uh, pushes on there. Um, it will zip tie into place with three zip ties there, so that will hold that in place. Uh, it's it's not amazing. It's you know I'm not it's no en feat of engineering, but it'll just stop your hands getting near that chain. It probably wouldn't chop your finger off, but it would wouldn't do it any good if you were to get your finger caught in between the chain and the sprocket. Um, I wouldn't want to do it, uh, so I've made this little guard, that'll just fit over there, as I said, and easily removed if need be, but that's just going to keep your hands safe and out of the way. And any clothing as well, you shouldn't get that caught in the chain with your guard on. So one little bonus feature, I've added some LEDs that come on when you turn wind it up and go off as soon as you turn it off. So that's my seven improvements to the hose reel. This is Mark II. We'll see how we get on with that. Let's hope this one lasts as well as the other one does. As I said, I've been using that for two years now. Uh, no real problems with it, uh, but and it's been a good faithful hose reel. But this one's even better. It's upgraded, Mark II. So we'll see how we get on with it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to put a link up above to uh, the build of the first one if you want to see how it's uh, all built. Uh, fairly similar to how I've done this one, just I've got the added features on this one as well. But uh, So I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Have a look at my playlists, there's loads of different bits and pieces in there. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.